Ladies and gentlemen, before I begin this episode of Spot the Liberal, I would like to acknowledge the recent passing of longtime Jeopardy host George Alexander Trebek. The Canadian born game show personality was active in the business for almost 60 years. My condolences go out to him, his family, and all the Jeopardy staff, crew, and fans. Thank you. Also, to hell with Roy Cooper. He's a jackass. Stop it! 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 You came to the right place! Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell is going on? I am Kevin the Skull Anderson. It is a great honor to be on your computer screen or your tablet or your smartphone device or your smart TV. I've got a lot to get off my chest again because of this whole 2020 election bull crap. You know, Ronald Reagan said that freedom is never more than one generation away from becoming extinct. Well, you know what? Even though he's been dead about 16 years, he's right. Not only did we not pass this freedom to our children in the bloodstream, but we've got to fight for it, we've got to protect it, we've got to hand it on to the future generations for them to do the same, or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our grandchildren what it was once like in the United States when men and women were free. I mean, at this point, it's really just common sense. You not only have to fight for your freedom, but you've got to protect it and trust that the generation that you pass it to that comes after you will do the same. I mean, freedom is not free. Freedom comes at a cost. Oh, by the way, you know Judge Clarence Thomas... His reputation was nearly destroyed by Senator Joe Biden in 1991. And guess what happened? He was eventually confirmed to the United States Supreme Court. He's now firmly in control of the SCOTUS majority and is now the de facto Chief Justice. Unlike John Roberts who can't really say the same thing right now, even though technically he is the leader of the Supreme Court, but he's a Democrat, obviously, so nothing he says is going to make any sense. But we're talking about Clarence Thomas here, not that scumbag Justice John Roberts. See, Clarence Thomas is going to be the guy that chooses the fate of the 2020 election, as is Amy Coney Barrett, as is Brett Kavanaugh, and so on and so forth. Remember, they got a 6-3 lead in the SCOTUS in favor of the conservatives. You know, it's a 6-3. There are double the number of Republicans than there are Democrats in the Supreme Court, and there's nine of them altogether. Imagine that. Now, if that weren't crazy enough, the same man that Joe Biden did everything in his power to destroy is now going to be his judge, his jury, and his executioner. Imagine the fucking irony of that. Imagine the irony of that. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Oh, by the way, you know how Fox called Arizona way too early? Well, I'm going to tell you like it is. Fox News is dead. Cause of death? Easy. It got run over by Joe Biden and the rest of the corporate left. See... Fox News has become what they swore not to become. You know what they've become? They've become the crap news network. 
you know, CNN, a bunch of corporate Nazi nitwits, that's all they are. Anyway, Fox News originally called the race for Joe Biden, which was absolute bullcrap considering the massive electoral fraud that had been going on and the massive voter fraud as well. Hmm, I wonder where you get that idea from, huh? CNN? MSNBC? Bloomberg? Fox News, you need to get your shit together. Because you're going out in a blaze of gory if you don't. And I'm telling you now, Fox News, you really need to just grow a pair of nuts and accept the fact that there was voter fraud in this election. And that's that. Now, if I don't get to explain why I think this way, then I'll never get to explain. See, I've watched Fox News for years. They've had liberal buffoons like Shep Smith and Juan Williams on there, and and now suddenly they're just full of them. I'm surprised, personally, that Brett Baer and Judge Jeanine Pirro and Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity don't just move ship to Newsmax. I'm shocked. Oh, by the way, lawenforcementtoday.com has reported we are all targets in what is currently still ongoing the greatest psychological operation America will ever, ever see. Ever. And I'm telling you, when I say we're the target, I don't just say it to say it. I say it because it's true. Ladies and gentlemen, the media likes to tug at our heartstrings. They like to tug at our emotions. They think we're stupid. Guess what? We're not. We can still fight the media. We can still fight big tech. You know, Silicon Valley. Yeah, we can still fight them and we can win this. Because we're not going to let a 78-year-old, demented, pants-shitting pedophile into the White House, given all the stuff, all the things that have just recently been revealed to us, the people. See, we the people can't stand for this. We the people cannot stand for this. You know why? Because this has been going on since at least the year 2000, and there I say probably a lot longer than that. You know, voter fraud goes back at least 150 years, all the way to the 1870s, when Florida was probably at the heart of this electoral dispute between two candidates for president at that time. And you know something? Florida is still a controversial topic in electoral seasons, especially like in 2020 and 2016 and 2012 and 2008 and 2004 and 2000 and 1990. You know, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Florida has had a history of voter fraud, and quite frankly, we the people are pissed off. See... To all those who voted Republican, it's like I said, it's greatly appreciated. I'm glad that you agreed with me that Donald Trump should still be our president for the next four years. But to all those people that voted Democrat, do you people have any idea how fucked and stupid you are for having believed in the lies of a liberal corporatist left? Do you have any idea at all? No, you don't. No, you don't. And here's why. If you're willing to vote someone who raped a woman for Monica Lewin- named Monica Lewinsky twice, elected a scumbag whose father declared a new world order 200-some years too late, 
and then you want to elect twice an illegal immigrant who got away with voter fraud and was successfully successful in the election of himself and his so-called boyfriend, da, 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 Joe Biden. Joe the plum dumb quid bowl crow Joe Biden. And you know something? It's it's almost as if the dumb rule our planet now. This planet is run by freaking idiots because most people don't even stand up for themselves anymore. Men in this country have to be told how to be by women. By women. That's fucking pathetic, is it not? I mean, you look at all the stuff that's on the news every single day. Look at it. Just look. I guess you can tell that men are no longer the superior dominant gender anymore. Or at least not anyway. But they will be soon. Look. In Wisconsin, 140,000 mail-in ballots were found. Guess what those 140,000 mail-in ballots were for? Joe Biden. Between 3.30 and 5 in the morning that same day, the same people found 200,000 mail-in ballots in Michigan, all for Joe Biden. There were like a million A million mail-in ballots in one other state. I think it could be Pennsylvania. I'm not entirely sure. But they were all for Biden, too. That, and I'm not even a genius or anything. I'm not an expert. I'm not a professor. I don't even want to be a professor. I just want to be like you. I want to be, how you say, normal. Except I'm never going to be normal. But the fact is, even a dumbass retard like me knows that's statistically and factually impossible. Not to mention forensically in any other kind of way. You remember when the FBI called us retarded, guys? Do you remember that? You should remember that because that's what the FBI said we were. And they were never going to do anything to Hillary Clinton. They're not going to do anything to Joe Biden either. Not unless we have a say in it. Oh, by the way. There is this software. This software named Hammer. Right? Get this. Democrats used a classified supercomputer called Hammer to deliberately and intentionally steal the 2020 election. Just like they did in 2016, or tried to, before Donald Trump was elected our 45th president. Just like they did in 2008 and 2012, when Joe Biden and that scumbag that's not even all the way black, but that scumbag, that literal piece of shit in Barack Obama run for president, right? Oh, by the way, do you remember when Amy Coney Barrett was put on the SCOTUS? That happened a few weeks ago. The Democrats were scared of that happening. They didn't want that to happen. You know why? Because they were involved in the 2000 court case over the election as part of the Bush legal team. You know, Brett Kavanaugh. Amy Coney Barrett. I think they were the ones. Hell if I know. But let me explain something to you, okay? Amy Coney Barrett was involved in the 2000 court case over the election as part of Bush's legal team. And you know, it's so funny I bring that up, Bush winning the 2000 election. Because... For 37 days, Al Gore did what Joe Biden is doing right now. Parading around the streets saying, Hey, look, guys, I stole the election. I won, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Meanwhile, 
on the 38th day, George W. Bush was declared the winner. Not Al Gore. So that was kind of embarrassing, right? Talk about premature celebration, right? Oh, get this. Get this. You know, you've got all these states, right? All these states on election night. And pretty much all of them saw Donald Trump beating Joe Biden by at least, at least five to ten points percentage wise. That's funny, isn't it? And and then all the fake ballots came in. The fake ballots came in. And they they were all for Joe Biden. And you know what? To all you stupid jackass liberals out there, I'll let you have your fun. But don't you come knocking down my doorstep and trying to kill me when Donald Trump has declared the winner by disqualification because that's what's going to happen. Joe Biden isn't going to get away with this voter fraud and you know it and you're falling for it. You're falling for his bullshit every day just like you fell for Obama's bullshit. You fell for McCain's bullshit. You fell for Al Gore's bullshit. You fell for Bill Clinton's bullshit. You fell for... Andrew Jackson's bullshit. And his bullshit probably stank the worst of all of them. Let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. You guys want to celebrate all the time thinking that you've successfully killed America by voting for a senile old fuck. Well, let me tell you something. Projected and elected are two completely different words which mean two completely different things projected means the media says it elected says we said it that's a huge damn difference isn't it projected means the media said it versus elected means we said it what do you believe do you think Joe Biden's Projected? Or is Donald Trump elected to win? I think it's the latter, don't you? You damn fucking right it is. You know, if we didn't have 60 million stupid fucking idiots roaming this country unpunished, unfettered, we'd be in a lot better shape right now. That's not to say I'd rather these 60 million Democrat voters not exist. I'm just saying, like Judge Judy said, parents should take an IQ test before they're allowed to procreate and have kids. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. And because most people don't listen to that prophetic statement... Because most people don't listen to that statement, that very statement that Judge Judith Scheinlin predicted, that parents would have to have themselves tested before having kids, that says a lot. You know, I look back on Revelation 13, right? Kind of reminds me of Daniel 6 and 7. You know, the beast, the fourth beast, they say it's coming. I'd like to think that it's coming. It might not come in my lifetime, though. It might not come in my lifetime. It may come in yours, but sure not mine, because I don't expect myself to live much longer. I really don't, because this world, I don't know how the hell this world can get any worse than it already is, because, you know, this beast was like a leopard, his feet were like a bear's, his mouth was like a lion's, and there was a dragon that gave him his power. You know the dragon is Satan, right? And his seat and great authority. And you know, there was one of these heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. 
And they worshipped the satanic dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make more with him? Or war with him? Oh, by the way, it goes without saying, we're living in godless times, ladies and gentlemen. People don't have morals anymore. It's sad. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. You know, there was someone on Facebook who posted this photograph of a woman, if I'm not mistaken, carrying a sign that says, and I quote, If a dog can be put to sleep, for attacking children, then so should all pedophiles. Hashtag save our children. Hashtag end human trafficking. You got to end human trafficking. And you know, Donald Trump's doing a damn good job of doing that. He's exposed Hollywood for the pedophiles they are. He's exposing all these sex, these sex trafficking rings all over the world. He's exposing them. And yet you want to give the credit to Joe Biden. You want to give the credit to Joe Biden because you're too stupid to realize that Donald Trump is the one you should be giving the credit to. You fucking idiots. Let me tell you something. Anyone that commits treason in this country should be dead. I'm sorry, they should be dead. They shouldn't be roaming around in Congress, parading themselves around and whoring themselves, planning their next attack on us, the people. You know? Wake up, you sleeping giants! You're being attacked by the Lilliputians! I'm just saying. Okay, so here we go. I do not understand why any group of people any group of people I don't understand why anyone would want to unify with a bunch of hateful people in Congress in the deep state in Hollywood in academia who called people like us racist, sexist, misogynist, chump, deplorable, retarded, sellout, Nazi, Trump-tard, transphobe, xenophobe, Islamophobe. You know, that statement that Hillary made. Half of all people who vote for Trump are what I'd like to call a basket of deplorables. You remember that fucking shit, huh? You're damn right you should, because she's the one that said it to you, the people of this country, of the United States of America. She said that to your faces. She said that to mine, and I didn't take it lying down. You know what I did? I voted for Donald Trump, just like I did this year, and I'm going to vote straight Republican in four years. And you know why? Because Republicans, like them or not, hate them or love them, they will always be, unless they sell out to the corporate machine, on the right side of history. And you know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. They know it. We know it. Why not accept it? It's fact. Democrats will always be on the wrong side of history, and you know that. Now. Now. Tell me what's good, huh? Tell me what's good. Because I want to know right now, in what universe, in what universe would 60 million Americans vote for a man whose entire Democratic Party and all their subdivisions and the media and Hollywood and academia deem people like you and I as retarded? The FBI said we were retarded. James Comey said that we were retarded. You remember that? Just because we voted for a man of common 
sense in Donald Trump. A man of common sense in Donald Trump. You mean to tell me we're retarded for voting for a businessman who's done more for this country than any other president put together in American history? What the fuck is this world coming to? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like George Carlin once said. It's like he said. You know... George Carlin once said, We laugh too little, we drive too fast, we get too angry, we stay up too late, we get up too tired, we read too little, we watch TV too much, we multiply our possessions, we reduce our values, we talk too much, we love too seldom, we hate too often. And as a matter of fact, you know what he said about that? He was right about that. He went on to say in a stand-up show, this comedian, George Carlin, that we've learned how to make a living, but not a life. We've added years to life, not life to years. I want you, for just a moment, to let that sink in. Just let it sink in for a moment. Okay? I'll let it sink in with you. Okay, you done? Okay, good. You know, Dakota Vinatieri Williams' photos was recently updated on Facebook. You know what she found? As of Sunday, November 8th, 2020, the states of Arizona, Nevada, all the swing states, all the swing states, all the swing states, excluding North Carolina, of course, have been taken away from Joe Biden. Taken away from Joe Biden. He had 290 electoral votes. You know what he has now? 226 to Trump's 232. So you tell me who's winning, huh? Donald Trump is winning. You're damn right he's winning. And he's going to win Alaska, too. In Nevada, thousands of mail-in ballots to count, 68,000 provisional ballots, illegal votes, Attorney General Barr involved. Arizona is going to likely have a recount. In Wisconsin, there were many irregularities, irregularities, I mean, recount. Voter turnout that was initially proposed was a statistical impossibility. You're damn right there's going to be a recount. You know why? Because election fraud. In Michigan... Software manipulation. Because of a glitch, 14,000 people who died suddenly rose from the fucking grave to vote. That's not possible in this lifetime. Not yet. You wait 20 years, though. That'll be possible. In Pennsylvania. 80,000 melon, 105,000 provisional ballots outstanding, observers were blocked, awaiting military ballots, statistically impossible voter turnout, just like in Michigan, just like in Wisconsin, just like in Arizona. In Georgia, there's going to be a recount because of illegal ballot harvesting. You know, it's so funny to me. You know, it's it's really, really funny to me. You got people in all these states who say that their vote counted because they voted. Meanwhile, they didn't do the smart thing and stick around 
to watch the people count their votes. If they did that, we would not be having this problem right now. You know what would what would have happened to ensure that we didn't have this problem? Voter ID. Thank you tonight. This is a Skull Media production. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, paper money is the root of all evil. <laughs> Oh, man. I sure do love pissing off those liberals. Anyway. Just thought I'd close with that. Have a good one, guys. Good game. The, the Wars of Marine Chicken!